Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another weekly auction house update video. And today, we are back with another update on the GT4 door coupe, being at $20 million. Also, the Pontiac Firebird and the brand new Jeep. But before we begin, give the video a like, otherwise, I will ram raid this clothing shop and steal all their clothes. Would you like to see that poor family business go to ruin because you didn't like the video? Now the choice is yours. Anyway, launch control, baby, and I'll see you in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get straight into today's video and guess who was 110% correct about the Pontiac Firebird. <clears throat> I was, as you can see here, last week on the 8th of May 2021, this thing was at 1.7%. Two, one million. Now, back then, I predicted this leading onto the tracking sheet. Back then, I predicted my forecast was day two, that date, I predicted 1.4 million credits, and it actually raised to 1.7, so I was 300k off my predictions. Now, if I can bring your attention, highlighted in blue, today is day six. I predicted 4.660 million because this thing was very, very slow appreciating. It wasn't going to boom past 15 to 20 million credits in the first couple of days. So I predicted a very, very slow increase in price. And guess what? As of today, the Pontiac GTO 1968 plate is currently sitting at 4.084 million. I was 600,000 credits off my predictions, but I still hit the nail on the head as it's being 4 million credits. Now, going forward, where do I... S my next 7-day predictions, this this is what I think is going to happen. Tomorrow, 5.5 million. Day 8, the day after, 5.9 to 6.1. Day 10 going forward, 7.2 to 7.8 million. Highlighted in blue, day 9, right at the bottom, 10 million credits. Day 12, all the way past 7 days. Roughly 12.2 to 15 million credits going forward. It is finally starting to appreciate. Now, I was 110% correct about this car. I was only 600,000 credits off. But my advice to you would be, as of today, you are still in a perfect perfect green zone for investing. My advice to you would be, go and snipe. Snipe as many as you can at 4 million credits. You are still going to make a final return price when this thing bounces to 10, to 12, to 15 mil in the future. At number one, I was 110% correct on the Firebird. Go and invest. It's had a f 3 million credit appreciation in the past six days and is only going to get better. At number one, the Firebird. Now, bringing us number two on today's list is the brand new Jeep 2020 Gladiator Rubicon. Now, very, very good news surrounding this car. As you can see here, on the 8th of May 2021, this thing was sitting at 448 thousand credits and back then this was my tracking sheet back then we were on day three the price was at 448 thousand now today we are four days ahead of that date so i predicted day seven 2.8 million credits but i was way off with my prediction as of today this thing has only raised to 944,000 credits it's a slower burn than i predicted it would be but this is still nothing to worry about some cars appreciate very very quickly and other cars take weeks slash months to appreciate in price Compare this to the Razor Tachyon that appreciated in 5 days to 20 million credits, or compare this to the Mitsubishi Starion that took weeks to appreciate to 8 to 12 to 15 million credits. So, going forward, here is my brand new appreciation graph for this car. In co thinking about its slow burn and how slow it has been to get near a million credits. As of today, as you can see here, highlighted in green, 944,000. Tomorrow, day 8, I predict a slow burn yet again still, 1.1. Day 10, finally starting to appreciate. It should raise past 2 million credits at 2.3 million. Day 11, finally a jump to 3, 3.1. Day 12, 3.770. Now, here is the most crucial part of information. Day 13 will be your last chance to invest in this car. If it raises to 4 million credits on track, this is your final investment opportunity for the brand new Jeep. At the bottom there, invest at 2 to 4 million credits for maximum money-making returns. Now, this is heavily dependent on Forza Horizon 4's behalf. If they bring this back next, no, next season, so in four weeks' time, this will ruin the appreciation in this car. If they bring it back next on Thursday, this Thursday, in the Forzathon shop for 1,000 Forzathon points, I swear to God, that will ruin 
the appreciation on this car. It'll tank it. It'll, it'll be stuck at 1.2 million credits for the next following six months. Fingers crossed they don't. They shouldn't because it's a brand new car. I doubt they will. I highly, highly, 95% doubt they'll bring this back so soon. Fingers crossed they don't because if they do, it'll ruin the appreciation of this car. But, ladies and gentlemen, viewers at home, as of today, you are still in a perfect, perfect investment opportunity window. It's under a million credits. It's a brand new exclusive car to the game. Buy as many as you can. You are not losing money now. My final advice to you would be to summarise. When it goes, when it raises to four million credits, that will be your last chance to buy as many as you can. As you can, do not invest over there uh, past that date because you're going into five to six to seven million credits. Your returns, quite simply, will not be worth it. But to summarise, buy today at just under a million credits, and it's on a very very slow appreciation burn. But it is nothing to worry about. At number two, the Jeep Gladiator Rubicon, and it's extremely slow appreciation. Now, bringing us number three on today's list, fantastic news for the Rimac Concept 2. Now, call me Mystic Zanch, because I predict these things. As you can see here, last week, this is what I said in my investment guide, hashtag 18. I do believe it will go back to where it was at 8.2 million because back then we were at 6.597 million because it got made available to obtain and I told you to go and invest. And as of today, <clears throat> we are back at 8.214 all the way down to 8.192. So my advice to you would be sell because this thing roughly stays at a between 8 to 10 million credits, it doesn't really diverge, it has no, it doesn't really go up or down, it's normally capped at 8.192 million, and I don't see it raising past 10 to 12 million credits in the future, it could, but my advice to you would be, I'd sell, get your returns, it's up to you, your choice, but the Rimac Concept 2 has gone back to where I predicted it would be, at number 3, the Rimac, and it's 2 million credit appreciation. Now, 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 some interesting news surrounding the GMC Typhoon. As we all know, this week, and for this season only, for 50% completion, is the GMC Typhoon. So, last week, it was already starting to depreciate from 8 million down to 6, down to 4, as you can see here, on the 8th of May, 2021. Now, this is not a car that's selling for millions in credits. This should be an investment guide, but I thought I'd, I thought I'd add it in right now as an update. Last week, we were at 4.105 million. And today, six days later, four days later, sorry, we're at 2.664 million. Now, wait until tomorrow and the day after where this thing should drop down to 1.8 to 1.4 million. And when it does, buy five of them, keep them in your garage, long, steady, patient investment. Because this thing will bounce back up to six to eight to ten, fingers crossed, to 12 million credits in the next following weeks when the rarity and, well, when it becomes more harder to obtain or when it's not flooded. So let's reap those re future rewards now. Invest at 1.8 to 1.3 million in the GMC Typhoon because it's already had a 2 million credit depreciation. Buy them, hold them, do not sell. Be patient and it will go back up. At number four, the GMC Typhoon is now at a perfect investment opportunity. Now, bringing us to number five on today's list, finally, some good news surrounding the Bentley Turbo R. Now, as you can see here, on the 12th of April 2021, we were starting to get some chatter about this car because it, it raised from 2 million credits to 4. And I was like, hmm, what's going on here? This thing used to be a 15 million credit car. It got absolutely depreciated, dropped down to 1.9 million credits, and on the 12th of April, it raised back up to 4.082 million, and I told you all to go and invest. And as of today, we've seen a 2 million credit appreciation in the past month to 6.368 million. Now, what does this mean for your investments? My advice to you would be, do not sell. I would hold, because this thing should raise to 8, and fingers crossed, back to 10 million credits. Then I would sell at 10 mil. But at number 5... The Bentley Turbo R and its 2 million credit appreciation. Moving on. Now, now, now at number 6, the best news on this list. As you can see here on the 25th of April 2021, the Mercedes-Benz GT four-door coupe, the 2018 model, was sitting at 8.260 million. And guess what? We've had a 12 million credit appreciation as of today back up to 20 million credits. Go and get your soul today to avoid the depreciation that will happen with this car. Do as I do, get your whole stock sold. Get it sold today for 20 mil. It's risen. Go and get it sold. But anyway, at number six, 
fantastic news for the GT4 door. Moving on. Now, at number 7, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're not going to edit this. We're just going to talk about a few of the rare cars that are selling for millions of credits that I think you should hold and do not sell. Starting off with the Peugeot 207 Super 2000. As of today, 15.5, 15.292 million. Hold. Do not sell. It will bounce back up to 19 to 20 million credits in the next following weeks. People have been asking me about this car. Should I sell? Should I hold? My advice to you would be hold because it was 20 million. It just took a depreciation hit. It should flatline smooth itself out and it will raise back up to 20 to 19 to 20 mil in the next following days. Now, without a cut in this video, you're going to see me go along the path here. Now, a one to watch. <clears throat> the 718 GTS. Now, this thing was once 4 million credits, got depreciated, got made available. 288,000. Again, it's a non mover, hasn't appreciated yet, but it should do in the next following months. It's going to be a very, very slow, lengthy investment. News on the 911 Gunther Works 2.2 million credits up from 1.7, 2.147. So it, there is a little bit of chatter about this car. This thing was once a 20 million credit car, as we all know, but got absolutely nuclear bombed into the dirt and it's still at 2.147 fluctuating between 1.4 to 2.1 it should should at least be 8 mil but for some reason the Forza Horizon 4 devs just haven't decided to touch it which is very very annoying for us now next up on our Porsche list is a 914-6 now I've been including this car a lot in my backstage pass guide and as of today it's dropped down from 14 mil to 11.025 which is still <laughs> bro if you've got a few of these, these in your garage and you didn't know it's a gold mine. Go and get them sold. What, you're not going to drive it. It's a bag of shit. So go and get all your sold. It's 11 mil. Why would you not? But anyway, next up, we've got the Razia Tachyon. 8 mil. Now, I've been getting a lot of messages about this car. The Razia's going to depreciate down to 4 mil. It's not. Do you know why it's not? This thing was the fastest appreciating car in Forza Horizon 4's history. That means it's got a strong, steady price cap. They won't allow it to depreciate down to 4 mil. My advice to you would be, hold. It got made available to obtain two weeks ago, as we all know in the Falzadon shop, which depreciated the overall price from 20 down to 8, but it is appreciating. It went down to 6, it's bounced back up to 8, will be 12, will be 15, and will be 20 million credits in the next following month, I predict. So my advice to you would be, I wouldn't sell it, I'd hold, most definitely hold on to it. Now, Megan RS was 20 mil, it's never going to be 20 million credits again, ever. Flatline 359, so please stop asking me about this car, it's worthless. Now, last but not least, ah, the Shelby 1000. Now, as we all know, Forza Horizon 4 decided to ruin this car because they brought it back two weeks after it reached 15 million credits and did what? Depreciate it down to 6.411 million, but it will not drop lower than that because it's a brand new car and they won't let it happen. And I did not mean to do that. Oh, my God. And we are back with our accidental listing of the Shelby 1000. Now, quick tip for you. If you ever accidentally list, list a car for sale, close your game instantly and reboot it, and then the car, for some reason, has a white uh, box and doesn't come back for a very, very long time. But anyway, to summarise, the Shelby 1000, don't panic about it. It will go back up to the original price of 15 mil in the next following weeks. It will. It's a rare car. It's going to appreciate Give it time. Forza Horizon 4 decides to bring it back, which nuked the price. So it's expected to be a long, lengthy investment. And, well, I think that... Ooh, by the way, before we go, before, before we go, last but not least, <clears throat> as you can see here, last time I detailed this car, the Corolla SR5, it was 930,000 credits. And as of today, it's had a 600,000 appreciation. So 1.5 million credits. Most definitely, boys and girls, a one-two watch. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you found today's video useful. If you did, please give the video a like because I want to get a Lamborghini Aventador in real life. Imagine the Snapchats. They'd be ferocious. Anyway, boys and girls, stay safe, stay happy, drop a gear, disappear, keep your bank account fat, and I will see you in tomorrow's daily upload. Peace and love, baby. Yeah, yeah.